Good evening. Here we are again for our fourth lesson in Talking with Hands. I'm your teacher, fourth generation American Indian Sign Language speaker, Mike Positopa, and it's an honor and privilege to be here with you this evening. Um, and reflecting on uh, sign language uh, today, I was thinking about, you know, I wish I could have seen my great grandfather uh, sign and how my grandfather and my uncle and aunt, how they, they watched him and interacted with him because that's all he, that's the only way he communicated was, was through the sign language. And so, um, but then I recall my dad would always say, you know, cause he didn't just take me to the side and say, you know, this is how you do it. Anything like that, that, and that covered from playing the flute, doing artwork, to dancing, to singing songs. He said, you, you know, you just pick this up by watching, you know, and you're just practicing it all the time and you develop it. And so that's where we're going to go with this sign language. If, if we review these uh, videos and uh, uh, practice, practice at home, uh, kind of make it a part of our, our routine. Eventually, you know, we'll build up enough uh, sign language vocabulary to, to be able to, to just flow in it. Um, and follow conversation stories, you know, and relate things using this sign language. Um, talking with hands basically is a simple, direct way of communication. So the thing of it is, is we have to convey that it, it's simple. And so what's going to make it simple is how we project it, how we can convey and bring that, that sign out through our hands. Um, and so we have many things that we can do to, to help us, such as um, expression, facial expressions. Uh, and there's, there's a bunch that we can go for, uh, depending on what the word may be. Uh, body language, um, you know, usually you can see a person how they feel and the mood they have behind it by just watching their, their body language. Same way with using sign language um, that we'll put all that in it. So we'll say pantomime, uh, facial expressions, and then knowing um, that when we may meet another uh, Indian, that we're going to, their sign language may differ so what we want to do is, is be able to understand and learn from them their sign. And then at the same time, you know, we can show them how we do that. Um, and therefore, you know, this is a sign for friend. That's what we always want to do is, is, is make develop friendships and stuff where we can connect with one another like that. That's a sign for together. And uh, so that's always the, the aim. So we're going to see differences and similarities. Uh, I've been reviewing this week different ways, uh, watching different different uh, sign language speakers uh, do signs, and uh, just, I'm just learning. You know, we never stop learning, so we just have to be uh, to open open to it. Um, now, so we'll use uh, some of the old videos that we've recorded and done in the past. Uh, I always uh, try to keep it as simple as possible. So what we're going to do right now, actually today, I, I came up with a little exercise um, for our hands and fingers that we can do before we get started. You know, just kind of relax. Just kind of let your shoulders get, get limp and bring your hands out and lift them up. Um, put your fingers together and pull them back. My fingers get stiff, so sometimes it, when I was doing sign language, I couldn't hardly move my hands one night. Um, so we just stretch our fingers back and uh, get that circulation to go on. Um, let's say we take an expression, a facial expression, as uh, let's say we're doing a sign for push. So you know that that sign is pushing you with force. Pull, same thing. So all these little things are, are not only tools, but you know, it can be used as an, as an exercise. All right, so 
what we're going to do right now is we're going to do some signs using one finger. And I tried to put them all on one page here today that I've been doing for probably a little over a year. And so I just had to little scribble, scribble them in on this paper. So it's loaded with uh, different ones. Okay. Well, it's one finger uh, and I may switch that to using my thumb here, but this is as I or me. I or me. So I can use that finger here or I can use the thumb. And some of those signs that we're going to be doing here a little bit later will will incorporate that that thumb going out with that when that hand comes out to make another sign. All right, now you one of the rules at pointing towards somebody or to somebody is that though the hand may uh, be going in their direction, you don't point it right at their face, but kind of downward in their direction. Going back to the old ways a long time ago that they had rules and stuff about, about pointing. And some of it still goes on today. I remember my mom used to get after and say, well, don't be pointing at nobody now, you hear me? <laughs> and still back in the old way, some of those customs was the same way because it was like a challenge, you know, so different times, but still, it still probably holds true uh, today. So that's you. I, you, yes. And that yes would be just like a swipe. Um, from the side, yes, yes. Um, man, index finger pointing up. Man, man, um, that same index finger. And we're gonna be showing another way to say this, this word here, the word come. Um, come would be uh, like, uh, like using that finger like a hook, come. Okay. And that sign can sometimes look like uh, when you're taking something, well, this one here is, is come like that. Um, the other one was was hand like this would become. So you'll see two ways. I kind of gave you two exa examples. Um, come. My dad he would he would use both uh, many times, especially around supper time. You know, we'd be outside playing basketball, and you know, or dash into the house. Okay, now the same finger would go up, almost like stand. Uh, stand, uh, you go up slow, going up. Uh, for up, like this, would be, you know, if you were going to look up. Okay. Here. Sometimes they'll use a palm here in direction. Your hand would serve like a mat here. There would be, I'm trying to stay in the frame, there, there. Or this, this. Now, uh, the sign that we use for now is, is like a dot. You just take that index finger and like that, like you hit on that computer key there. Now. Another one with this finger here would be for tear is here. Tear. Uh, smile. You can take that finger and, and, and make it in the shape of a smile. For drumming, say, um, let's say singing. Um, you take that, that finger and you're not keeping in time with, let's say, a rhythm or a drum beat like that. And that, that symbolizes singing. Okay. Um, a name 
is you take from your, your you might could even point your lift and take that finger out from your mouth. That's that's name. Like um, what is your name? Uh, holy is you use that index finger and you you swirl it up three times. One, two, three. One, two, and a lot of things are in count using using three. One, two, three. That's that's a sign for holy. Uh, true or truth uh, comes from the mouth. Like that. It shoots straight. It's like that. And take it um, can be like, um, use that finger like that and, and pull something towards you. Take, I'll take that, okay, okay. And then uh, prayer is, is like this, that prayer goes, goes up. Holy, this, prayer, like that. And I imagine there's other signs that uh, can be used, um, brought in from other American Indians in their, in their sign language, but that's the one that, that I have on here. Now we'll use, uh, I'll use two, I'll use my arms and both hands. This is for trade crossing of the hands. Say, I want to trade you for that. Point at it, trade. Um, if you wanted to, to buy, you take that index finger and the other index finger and you tap it. That means to buy, to purchase that. No, no trade. So see, you, you, you get to see the difference right there. Buy, trade. Uh, if it was yours, that is mine. Or that is, is yours, new point. Um, son. It's like that. Um, let's see, friends, again, two fingers, C, it's two fingers. Now, if you was peering at something, focusing your attention, looking at something, you might go like that. It's like, this means that you're going like that. You was, you was watching, you're attentive. It's got your attention. And so, uh, the one hand is more or less, um, the one that's uh, directing the mood behind the sign. So a lot of times um, it depends on what's uh, in, a, in the sign language, right and left. This one here shows the action. A lot of times we can just use one hand in our sign language. Um, split is this, because this is together. This is together. This is Fran. Um, when people get married, then the hands come from out here and touch together. And then we, we bring it up like that. So here, that's for marriage. <clears throat> A lie is this this. And I've seen them use sometimes uh, no, which this is a sign for no. I've also seen it used uh, for don't. And, um, and it just depends on um, maybe um, trying to 
understand what somebody is saying, especially if you're given like maybe directions, like don't, um, don't lie, or don't take it, see, or um, don't, um, don't trade. Just trying to think of some applications. Now, snake, We'll use the index finger and do that. Rattlesnake is this, okay? Um, a rattle or a gourd, you shake it like that. Walking, two hands. Sometimes. Uh, the stride in the in the walk might be like this. You know, maybe you're maybe you're tracking, or maybe you're telling the story about someone walking in the woods. So you you would put that that body and that, that into that movement of of that walk. And then I've seen others, you know, do this like going up a hill, or so you see two different ways here that you can sound. If one doesn't work to them, maybe the other one will. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, dancing. Now, when I see this here, I think about having my feathers and stuff on, my hackle bustles, horse hair flowing, and I see the action in it. But different, different uh, for different dances and stuff, maybe it might just be, be this. Um, my grandpa, he used to just do, do this, you know, he got to do this, his, um, his sign language, you know, he, he used it with my, my great grandfather, but then later on in life, he learned how to sign in letters and, and words in the American sign language. So he really, you know, used his hands. I remember, boy, he could really spell quick. And, you know, I, I was like in about the first grade. And I didn't know what, what he was saying, but he was talking with his hands. So he wound up drawing a picture for me and showing me what he was talking about. Uh, to say all right, something's all right, um, you use this here as a downward motion. All right. Like this is yes, and this is good. And that's all right, okay. <clears throat> Small is this. Let's drop the blankets, kind of interfering with my vision. Um, that's small. Small. Big, we use your index fingers, almost like guns. Do this, big. You could describe an animal or you could describe the sky heavens, all of that, like that. <clears throat> Give, again, we take those th those three. One, two, three. three. I give this to you. I um, give this to you put about three or four signs in that. Um, and no is this. Oh. Oh. Bad is like if you had something in your hand and you just let it go. That's bad. 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 Turn the page. If you wanted somebody to tell you something direct, you'd put your hand by your mouth and go to them with your hand, and then with that thumb, come back. That says, tell me. Tell me. Two moves. One. Two. So that thumb is coming back. That. 
<clears throat> um, another way for, for doing the come, I think I showed you a while ago, it, it was like a, a sweep, like if you were throwing water on your shelf with your hand. That's, that's kind of like that. Go can either be this with that index finger, maybe with your head down, <laughs> go. Or like if you was um, bringing your hand through water, you just feel that smoothness, go. And it looks sweeping upward move. Sit can be done like this, or it can be like this, like, like you're pounding. Well, that means sit. Stand. Again, it's this. Stand. If I was saying I, I know, I would use my thumb pointing at myself and then that, I know. Now, if I said I didn't know, I would say I don't know. So that whole length of that arm is in that. No, don't, no. <clears throat> afraid is um, like you're pulling in with your index finger and pulling it to you like this that's how they do how they done um, afraid okay I've seen in, in stories and stuff when they was describing maybe a big a big bear or something that was was uh, chasing them, but they was running. They looked over and they said they was, they, they was afraid. You know, they, that bear had, had claws swinging at them. But that story, in that story, that's how they would do that. Now, um, who would be the hand? Um, today, I, I grabbed the light bulb and, and, and turned it like that. Because uh, it was kind of like in, this, in the same own, uh, same motion of the hand, it was twisting something. Listen is here. Now, if you was trying to hear, you do both like this. And then how many? Um, like that, and then like he was trying to count, you know, how many? Go around something, you can either use this hand here, with this finger up, and go around like this, which means around where this means a circle okay um, and then you can use fingers you know to count you know one circle or you, you go around one time to avoid and we're going to use two fingers again here to avoid something, you take the fingers going out, turn, and go that way. That means avoid. 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 Day, index finger, going up. Day. And then there's different methods of saying how many days. You know, sometimes it might be the sun going around for two.
uh, people is, is like if you was holding your hand right up here like this here. And then you could kind of picture somebody walking by or, or people milling around. People. TP is this. Okay. Making up a camp is this. And then TP. Camping. TP. Um, today, a lot of times they use this here uh, for a home, or you may see that in, in, in a prayer, you know, symbolizing kingdom. So you can hold that up like this. Okay. Um, tired is is this those hands are out here like weary feel weary feel tired uh, fatigue where earlier that looks similar to fear but it's tired so there's there's a difference it just depends on where those arms are in that body put it out here it's hard to show depth and distance on here um and then two fingers symbolize friend Uh, this man is my friend, or you are my friend. Um, I was watching a, uh, I was watching a guy using uh, uh, his head movement uh, when he said no. You know, when he was like, like I don't know or don't do something, um, he would shake his shake his head. So that can still, you know, you can use that like um, uh, no, don't go over there, stay here, there's stay, and there's here, there's no. Um, so you, you put that together in a way we start putting these words together. I like it when we can use four words at a time, four signs to, to say a sentence or something. But I'm going to try to keep it simple. So once I start getting out there like that, I got to reel myself back in. Um, riding like a horse is this. There's those two fingers and getting on top of a horse. I've been riding horse all day. Tired, see. And then to split something is you go like that. You know, while ago we said separate like that, but but to, but to split it, you know, you just like you come like that, and then you veer off. That hand goes out where this is wide. Um, sometimes if you want to like tearing a piece of material or something, you know, you tear it and tear it in half. Or um, sometimes if you're cutting uh, meat, you know, you can go half like that. It's just getting a little descriptive on um, on the word separating and parting something. Uh, maybe a road, you're traveling down a road and then that road splits. Take that one on this side and go that direction. So you can give direction using this sign language like that. Um, when we're doing all referring to people sitting out there, all, you know, your hands, sometimes you can you can do it like this, referring all, or you can do it like this or do it like that. So there's three different ways. One, two, three, okay. To go um, using um, uh, maybe haste or put speed behind it, you'd shake that 
shake that finger, go. Like that, that's the, always reminds me of a company, somebody's feet really moving fast and they take off. But that's how they do it. Go, that means take off. <laughs> um, laugh. Um, your, your hands go like this. You might put a smile to it. You say something funny, you know, it's laughing. So you can make that hand, you know, kind of, kind of, kind of floppy. With a, if you're laughing loud, you you put your hand like this, five, laugh. If it was a joke and you was laughing, put yes, good one. To make something, uh, this is one that we had just a little bit of review too on some of these words, uh, is this, make. Now, if you was gonna make uh, bread, make your dough, then it was, then it's this, like that, that's dough, okay. Uh, so that's for bread, uh, sign for good is bread good um to give i did this one all ago it's that it's three um and then to uh to, to leave or to go uh you can the hand can go like that it's like almost like he was painting but just one up, that means leave. Don't leave, see, or um, don't, don't go, okay? Um, now this is a sign for be brave you would use your hand like a like a hammer you don't have to hit anything you just make a strike and then point you know like, like be be brave you know, be brave and the word love starts here, right here, your hand on your heart, and then you bring that hand out. I love you, see? I love you. Or you could do, you know, just bring it out, meaning people, everything like that. Uh, stop is Palm out. Stop. So this ain't a wave. This means, you know, simply stop. Um, to wait. I did this while ago. So is that? Hold, hold it down. Wait. Right there. Water. It's here. So, so we've been doing these signs using the hand, the palm. This is for water. This is for drink. Okay. Uh, as we begin to to use that fist, well, we did use that fist for bravery, um, and this also means we use that fist for sit. Um, we can also use it for, let's say, if you was going to to, to break maybe a stick or something, you break or an arrow. Let's say we want to say, um, have a, a good day. Have a good day. 
Okay, so we know this is good. We know this is day. And then taking that is have. So have a good day. Have a good night. Night is, is your hands uh, open and it's overhead. Like that. That's a symbol for nighttime. So have a good night. Have a good day. Um, let's say you wanted to tell somebody uh, to to get a drink. Uh, you would say take uh, uh, get you. Uh, a drink or um, take one bread eat or this bread is good this water is cold sign for coffee in the old days they they grinded it Okay, way back there, a long time ago, when when our, our people was uh, getting coffee and rations and stuff in the early days, many of them didn't like it because it was bitter. And I watched a video how you know they didn't they didn't like that coffee they throwed it out. <laughs> um, but I enjoy my coffee, so coffee would be this uh, if it was hot. That hand pops open like this, or you could use for flame and shake that hand like that. That's referring to a fire. That coffee's you know, hot. Uh, to open, uh, you can do it like this. That's open. Let's say it was a door, then you would bring it to to the your hands up close and you do it like that almost like a book okay now to close you bring them back together and if you were saying close the door um you would do or close the book so those two are pretty similar a book's this okay At the beginning, one of the exercises that we did was was uh, push and pull. Push, pull. Looking here, what I got here. Um, before we go any further, do we have any questions? We've got a little bit of time because I want to cover some, some more things. So I might just give somebody a chance to to say something since this is lesson <laughs> lesson four. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to this to the next one. Um, if you um, are thankful for something, this is is being thankful or thanks, thanks. Um, let's say we want to say it's been a long time. It's it's been a long. See this finger right here shows the action. It's going out there. It's been time. It's been a long time. Um, it, it's good to, to see you.
it's good to see you. So you get your fingers just ex exchanging and moving. Come, sit. Wheel. Talk. Share words. With our hands. Okay. So we want to make sure that this is usually a sign for uh, American Indian or Native. Is is rubbing the, the top hands. Okay. Um, so when we're saying that, we want to make sure that uh, uh, it it's, it doesn't get, we don't get confused in the uh, in the sign. How about you? Um, glad again, you know, we put that smile. Glad to, to see you. Um, staying somewhere, you would you would put your hands by pushing down. One, two, three. That means you're staying here or you're staying home. Okay. Um, if you were saying um, after somebody, you would take this finger right here and go around till it's back here. You know, like go to the back or go back. Either one. This depends on the application of, of what you're seeing, what you're watching. So I'm going to go back here or go back. All, all of us. So that's almost all in one, one, one move. All of us. And then last week we did um, buy and buy, and that was like that index finger going three times by and by you know time went on uh, or it can be referred to eternity and then to bless it's like that blessing so there's a lot of a lot of spirituality in that sign language that can be conveyed with the hands Real simple. Um, to bring something, to bring something um, would be like um, you want to give somebody some some directions using your hand, and you would put to for them to go over there and bring you. Uh, something to drink, okay? Or, you know, bread or something. I always like to use bread and water, just keeping it simple. Um, you're full. Uh, you're hungry. Your hands are here. Let me stand up. I'm hungry. <laughs> and this means hungry right here. When you're full, your hands come up. To hear. Right up here, it means you're, you're full to hear. You've had, a, had enough. Land is this. Since we're going, getting into the spring season, it's going to be uh, wind. And it's going to be rain, okay? Some some big storms. That lightning. This is for lightning, okay? 
uh, and then the grass, the flowers will pop up from the ground. When we get tired, we get sleepy. Um, I have one of my students here that went to sleep. <laughs> okay, let's say we want to know what um, what time it is. That's the question right here. Time, is it? That would be noon, afternoon, evening, morning. We always be always to your east, your directions. And that's why we, you know, we have to be aware of where we're at, where we're positioned, where we're standing <clears throat> at that time. Um, let's say, uh, there was a um, a little girl, and she's talking, and she wants to know where her mother is. That's how you would say it in sign language. So you make a sign for a little girl. Do your hands on you know the height, the stature. Um, and if she's looking for her, for her mother, you might want you could do the sign here for, for woman, but here, right here means mother. Same way with, if he was going to do it for looking for her father, then you would say, uh, uh, um, girl is looking for um, her father. So and we've kind of covered quite a bit of review and I mixed in a lot more. But I thought the tonight that uh, being able to, to learn all the sign languages, starting with one finger, two fingers, uh, the hand, both hands, uh, fist, would all make it more simple, you know. And I know that there's more words that we can we can fill in and, and learn in the future. Uh, talking with our hands. It's always one of my aims is to uh, is to um, for us to be able to all communicate, you know, and interact using this sign language. So just keep in mind, you know, this is all we're all learning. Sometimes uh, I, I told them once that rediscovering this sign language, you know, has been really, really big to me, you know, to be able to, to take something that was passed down to me all through my life. And I never knew what, what I had to this, these, these last few years. And um, it's kind of opened my eyes to, to want to, want to preserve it, share it, teach it, and to see it more, you know, Years ago, back in when I was a little boy, I seen it everywhere. Everywhere I went, Indian people was talking sign language, men, women, even kids. But today, it seems like when I go, I'm not the only one, but I'm just going to continue when I see people to use my hands and talk to them. You know, and the other day I felt real good. Went to a ball game and said a couple signs to somebody, and they signed back. And I thought, wow, we, ball was really. <laughs> Want to start talking to them, you know, using sign language, but it was it was good that I got a response back and a sign. That it's good. All right, um, Teresa, if we want to um, open up for some questions here.
I got 10 till on, on my ending clock, eight till. <laughs> Okay, do y'all have any questions? <clears throat> yeah, I, I do. Okay. Um, and thank you for this. I really appreciate all this. The last four weeks has been really, uh, been really good. Uh, I guess one was on the pointing in the directions, obviously, you know, we kind of know or try to know which way things are. Is there any etiquette mm -hmm. that, like, pointing towards the north, south, east, west, or anything like that? Or is it just kind of just knowing which directions those are? Pretty much knowing uh, where you're at, you know, like, uh, you know, you're facing east or, you know, where west is behind you. Mm -hmm. um, I guess it's just the position that where you're at. Um, it makes it a lot easier, you know, it, if he was giving somebody some directions and he was pointing straight ahead and you're meaning north, but you're facing south, <laughs> they might take off and go in the wrong direction. So right there, we would really have to, to, um, to be um, knowing where we're exactly where we're at and what we're, we're telling them to do, um, like north and south. And as far as um, saying that in sign language, as... Um, whenever we face uh, a direction, usually we always face east. When that sun comes up and that morning star shines bright, um, that's our sense of direction. And then behind us is the west. So then if, I, if we're standing, let me stand here, I'm facing east right now, then my left hand would be south my hand here would go north like that. So we don't get them all crossed up. <laughs> Sometimes this is, this can mean um, like this is, is this crossed or, or confused. Sometimes they do it for the eyes. Okay, did I answer that okay? Did it make sense? Yeah, you did. And to follow up on that, I guess, was uh, is there one for lost? <laughs> <laughs> uh, lost would be um, um, almost like a, the hands kind of go up like this, lost. It's almost like something was taken and you lost it or you was looking for it. And it's, and it's gone. <laughs> so if you was traveling and you went out mm -hmm. and you was looking around and you're lost. <laughs> That's the way I would do it. Until I uh, find a different means that, that that really looks 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 ended, I might have to take that, you know. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. And then one last kind of question. You know, yes, with uh, learning uh, language of the massage, um, mm -hmm. you know, it, the structure of it kind of goes, it's not really, it didn't go English ways, you know, does it, does it really matter yeah. on uh, when we sign that, like, uh, if you're describing, like, two deers or two bears, or bear or two, or anything like that, or avoiding, like, I like, I was listening earlier, like if you're avoiding like two snakes, you mm -hmm. know, is there a certain protocol or you just kind of, you just kind of have to be observant to kind of know the sign. Like, okay, they're talking about two snakes or they're talking about snakes, but there's two of them. Okay. Snake, uh, rattlesnake. Um, if it was water and there was a snake in it, it would probably be a, you know, a water moxin. Mm -hmm. I think they did viper sometimes is uh, like this, if it bit you, that's a snake bite, see? Where if it was a bear, that's a sign for bear. If it was snarling, sharp teeth, claws, you could get really descriptive. 
in, in, in doing a bear. Um, but this would be bear. Uh, and for him to, to bite you, it would be like that. Which they also do that to talk about when you're chewing food, you know, bite it, chew it. <laughs> um, so you're, you're signing with the English structure then? Well, the way I told them at that conference, because we had Ponca and Osage call uh, Quapaw, um, and we're all pretty much in that same language group, okay? I told them if to implement this, they could take that word that they were saying, you know, just like bear. And I would do, they would say it in their tribal language, and I would do the sign. Um, but not knowing that language, I would have to see the English word up there in front, and then I would know how to do it. See what I'm saying? Because see, some of that still, to me, is a language barrier, not knowing it, you know. Maybe familiar with some of the dialect you know, on Osage, but I'm very limited uh, of what I can say in Osage. Same way with Creek. It'd be like an old, old Indian sign language versus the new English mm -hmm. Indian sign language. Any more? No, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> no. Hello, did you have Anybody any questions? Um, no, not really at this time. Um, are there like, uh, I guess you could say signs for seasons? The four seasons? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's, they have signs for it. And I think it may differ just depending where, where you know, where we, where we live. Um, like when it gets cold and it's snowy, um, there's, you know, the sign for snow. It's like that. Rain. You know, some places people live, you know, it might be rainy season or um, for whenever leaves and stuff fall from trees to fall. You just take that one hand. That's what dad would always be saying, talking about Indian summer, you know. Um, summertime is, is the heat. Springtime, the rain. S snowing, cold, winter. Uh, also in spring too when things are coming up from the earth. Okay. Well that that wasn't too hard to really demonstrate. I guess never applied it <laughs> in that sense. <laughs> yeah. So like uh, as far as example you could say like um the birthday was in November. Uh, would that be kind of considered like the winter or, you know, how you can designate certain when it begins and when it ends? Or do um, you think I would say when winter begins, uh, that hand could, could be a, up here. You know, when you're talking about snow and, and if it's late, late fall, that hand would be back here. Talking about, you know, almost like the race would be going at the same time here, but back if we want to use time. That's that's one thing what they they, they talk about that because we didn't have clocks and and we used stars and seasons to describe time, days, uh, years. Um, that it's kind of hard to do. Um, to relate to the to the to the present time right now, um, and so what we try to say again 
on this is, you know, it's a simple, direct way of communication. So we've got to kind of make it as simple as we can so we can understand and, and sign it. So I would say uh, in, in front of the winter, if we was talking about the seasons, uh, snow, um, and then the, the fall, you would, you would kind of pretty much know that there was a break in there before the snow came, birthday. Okay. I want to thank you guys for being a part of this. You know, I couldn't do it without you. And I be up here just signing to myself, <laughs> but I'm glad I got a, an audience here and students here that's, uh, that's grabbing this and taking it because, you know, it, it, this belongs to you now. And just keep, keep watching, you know, review, practice, and uh, you'll be able to, to flow with it. So I want to say my dough. Thank you. And good night. <laughs>